the welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Hey everybody and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Miss Lori. And I'm Mr. Brown. <laughs> we've been gone for a little bit but we're back and uh, we thought we'd just bring y'all along because we're fixing to cook us some supper. We're well, gonna, I'm ready too. Are I'm you hungry. ready? I'm hungry. I got my sous chef here. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna be helping me cut stuff up. And this is a casserole and uh, I, I love casseroles. You love casseroles? Yeah, you made a uh, little chicken Mexican Mexican chicken casserole yesterday. Yes, yeah, I did. It was really good. It was really good. Um, seems like you can feed a lot of people with casserole, too. This one right here will feed <clears> several. <throat> so this would be a good one to take to a potluck or some kind of gathering or a Sunday meal. Um, I thought about cutting it in half and, and making it for just two. But I'm going to go ahead and make the whole recipe. And we just eat leftovers. How about that? Absolutely. But you can cut it in half if you want to. Now, I'm probably going to mess this up, but this casserole, there is a sandwich in the Midwest, and it's called, it's R-U-N-Z-A, Runza, Ron, Runza Sandwich, and it is hamburger meat, and cabbage, and seasonings, and a little bit of cheese, and I think it's smushed between two pieces of bread, and people say it's just a really, they just love this sandwich. So this is a casserole version of the runza sandwich i know i'm not saying that right but for y'all that have had these sandwiches or are from the midwest you, you'll know and uh, i'm sure you can put different seasonings and stuff in it i think the main thing about this casserole <clears throat> is you need to make, get your filling you don't want it real wet because then their, their crescent rolls will be kind of soggy so anyways we're going to get started on this we're just going to let y'all just <laughs> Be in the kitchen with us crazy people while we're cooking. And y'all yes. <laughs> and y'all can and there's a fly flying around, so if y'all see him buzzing around. Oh, head, I'll be after this fly. He is driving us crazy, y'all. I just got tickled at you when you said that. What I say? You wrinkled your nose when you said soggy. Soggy. You wrinkled your nose up and said soggy. That's what I was laughing soggy. at. Soggy. <clears throat> now this recipe calls for two pounds of hamburger meat, so that's what we're gonna be using. Uh if you want to cut it back, use a pound. You can go ahead and cut my cabbage. You want me to start on this cabbage? Yeah, because <coughs> it'll be cooking. We'll be frying it up with some of this hamburger meat. And it's raining here today, or this afternoon. The front is here, isn't it? And it is windy. Of course, we have to remember it's still <coughs> March outside. It's supposed to get down about post, close to freezing tonight. Close to freezing. That's why we don't get in a big hurry to paint our garden. Because... It can, uh, it can break your heart if you get too much out in, in March. I have lost tomato plants and flowers and you name it just because I got in too big of a hurry. But, I'm, you know, over the years I've learned my lesson to slow down just a little bit. So 
So I've got some fresh hamburger meat here, two pounds. We're gonna brown it up. Have any of y'all ate one of these sandwiches? The Runza, R-U-N-Z-A. I've never even heard of it till I seen the recipe and I, I, I went to reading about it and they were talking about it being mainly in the Midwest of this sandwich. And then it being, you know, hamburger meat and cabbage and cheese and onion and put between two pieces of bread. It's kind of like, sounds like a loose mix sandwich with cabbage added to it. You know how I love cabbage. <clears throat> so we don't have much longer that school's going to be out. We got till the 24th of May. If I start crying, it's because I'm cutting up onions. <laughs> I tell you, onions anymore are so stout, and um, I buy the supposedly supposed to be the sweet onions. Of course, we don't. We don't get the best produce around my area. Um, I do grow some onions, but I don't grow very good onions up here. <clears throat> Let that brown just a little bit. I'm going to salt and pepper it. So that's kind of grinding it. I wonder if we should just shred it. You think that's too small? Because we want to fry that. Hang on. <coughs> that's my fault. I don't know. It might work. Might not. I might, it might get all the moisture out of it. I don't know. I think it'd be better if we do that. Well, then I didn't cut it up too much for that. <laughs> Dear. Oh, you cut it up in small pieces. I cut it up to run it through that grinder. Here. Finish it up with that. We'll try it. How about that? Okay. I think it might help get rid of some moisture. We'll see. I mean, you could even do it. You could even do it like this, the way you've cut it up. I could even chop it just a little fine yeah, and not do it. Yes, that'd be fine. Because you, sure? you want you want that texture. I just I wasn't thinking about it uh, grinding it up like that, but we would do that if we was making coleslaw for sure. <clears throat> well, we done that yesterday or Saturday. We cooked up a bunch of chicken that we had in the freezer that needed to be cooked up. And I just put a bunch of it in the slow cooker and cooked it. And I think today Danny took it all off the bone and did it make very much chicken? A lot of chicken. A lot of chicken. So we can have barbecue chicken sandwiches. Minus what I eat for lunch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think just chopping it up kind of coarse would be best. That way we got a little bit of texture to it. Now you can add any kind of seasonings to this. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic here in just a little bit. Now this does have a crust. And it's a, just crescent rolls is what it is. It'll have a, a bottom crust and a top. So it's really pretty easy, but it just sounds so good. Um, you make it in a nine by 13 dish. I'm supposed to be measuring this out, ain't I? Yeah, just about four cups. You want me to put it in here? I don't probably get more cut up than I need. No. Nope. I mean, you can't I'm, have too much cabbage. I know it's going to cook down, but I 
done. Did you notice how much cabbage was today when you bought it? How much it was a pound? 69 cents. 69 cents. I know somebody said it was around 79 cents a pound now. The red cabbage was like 59 cents. Oh, really? I almost got a red one. I didn't. It wouldn't matter. You know, actually, red cabbage is it's a little more uh, nutritious for you because it's got more of the any vegetable that's got purple red in it you're gonna have a little look at that rain y'all it is raining i don't they might, know if, they might hear it i don't know if you can hear it on the tin roof or not i'm gonna turn my i'm gonna go ahead and put this in there <clears throat> you can cook it we don't use it in our you know I'm going to eat it. Yeah, like I said, we'll make coleslaw. Because we need to eat up that barbecue chicken that you cut up. <clears throat> I had a bunch of chicken out there, and it was like uh, drumsticks, and I had some um, chicken wings, and then I had a whole chicken. So I just stuck it all in that slow cooker, cooked it all. Um, I did barbecue some in the oven, the chicken wings. So we just took the whole bunch and Danny just put it all together. That way we can just chop it up and make some uh, barbecue chicken sandwiches and that's just another meal. Probably a couple meals. Now I like to cook my onion with my with my meat when I'm cooking it. So I'm going to go ahead, Mr. Brown, get this onion. All that onion. Cabbage in it. It don't matter. I'm going to go ahead and put all this onion you cut up for me. I think I all excited and got it all over work. <laughs> They're having some storms down south of us, aren't they, today? This afternoon? Well, Louisiana and Mississippi got a chance of tornado today. So if Y'all are in that area. Well, y'all were. Uh, Central Arkansas, I south. y'all are staying safe. This time of year gets kind of worrisome with all the storms because we are in <clears throat> Tornado Alley. I'm going to set this back in the refrigerator for a second, for a little bit. <clears throat> Now I'm going to be using, uh, let's see, I've got some shredded mozzarella in there. Did you pick up any cheese today? Or did I even tell you that? You did not tell me to pick up cheese. Okay, good, because we've got some. Ha <laughs> ha. That was not on my list. That was not on the list. And, uh, <clears throat> that ain't on my list, I ain't. <laughs> you know, I talk about... Uh, a lot of y'all would like to see grocery hauls and we just don't have any here because we just don't do big grocery hauls. If we run the store, it's just like, I, I had messaged him, I was at work and I said, can you run to the store and get a head of cabbage and a couple cans of crescent rolls because that's just not something that I keep really. And, uh, which the fresh produce, that's something we do have to buy unless we've got it, you know, in the summertime when you've got stuff going on in the garden. And I do have cabbage, but it's going to be a while before I get a good head of cabbage, that's for sure. My cold crops are out, and I do need to be fertilizing them because so. they have gotten quite a bit of rain. I've got cabbage and I've got broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce, spinach, um, I said broccoli, Brussels sprouts, I don't know what all. So two pounds of hamburger meat is quite a bit. If any of y'all been over trying to find Mr. Brown's channel, just just stay here. 
uh, he's just going to keep putting all of his stuff right here on this channel. It, it might be his video and what he's doing, just like he was doing on his own channel, but we're just going to keep putting it here because <coughs> it's just easier. We just figured out it's just going to be easier that way. Well, she's going to retire, and then she can help me film me or whatever if I'm doing something on my own, or we plan on doing a little bit of traveling, so I got to thinking also, you know, me trying to keep videos out on that channel while we travel and all that stuff, and we're going to be trying to do more together, so we're just going to put that project on hold. <laughs> well, too, um... You know, I do all the edit editing. It's not very professional, but I do do it. And, uh, and you'd have to do more of that while you're still working. So anyways, it's all going to work out, and y'all still going to see his videos. And he will be having some more Bible studies. <clears throat> and see, there's still some liquid in there. I'm going to turn my heat up, because I, I don't want that liquid. Turn her up and let her evaporate out. You'll keep that stirred. Oh, I can keep this stirred. <laughs> so really all we got left to put in there is uh, a little more seasoning, some garlic here in just a little bit, and the cabbage. You done salt and pepper? Yeah, I'm not too sure that it might not need a few more sprinkles though. Because that's you know, two pounds of hamburger meat. You know I am about pepper one, right? I know. I'm going to clean up some of these dishes. Have you been out to check your potatoes? Is your potatoes starting to come up yet? I have looked, but not lately. They weren't up a few days ago. So we got um, Easter weekend coming up, and I know a lot of y'all uh, have family come over or y'all go to potlucks and stuff. This would be a really good recipe. I do have um, more casserole recipes, and I would love to, I'm going to start doing some more because I, I do, I like casseroles. They're, to me, they're, they're easy. It's almost, you know, it's like a one pot meal, and I used to make them a lot when all the kids were home because it, it fed a lot. It, fed, it would feed a lot of people. It's just a little, usually a little more economical. It is because, uh, and it's just like a dump and go usually. Uh, you know, I look at a lot of different casserole recipes <coughs> and most of them are with chicken, stuff like that, and hamburger meat. But, uh, I'm not, I don't think I've ever ate a casserole that I didn't like, except, except, this is my exception, so y'all... I know what you're going to say, I bet. Don't get mad at me, y'all. I'm going to, can I tell them? What? Green bean casserole. That is one of them, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not the one, no? No, tuna casserole. Oh, tuna. I'm not a tuna eater, that's why, y'all. And I know a lot of y'all love a good tuna casserole, but I just... <laughs> I like tuna, she don't eat much tuna. Uh, no, I don't. I do. I don't guess you eat any hardly, do you? No. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, but I do love good chicken salad. I, I like, well, I like tuna on the crackers. That's I mean, I'm not cracker. saying I wouldn't eat it. I can, but. <clears throat> and I used to eat it in my younger days. There's something about it anymore. I just, I don't know. I put a little mustard and a little pickle relish and a little bit of mayo, mayo mayonnaise in there. He, uh. Mix it all up and eat on a cracker. He loves stuff like that, but he also loves, um, where have you been eating? Brunswagger. Brunswagger. Does anybody eat Brunswagger? Brunswagger. Uh, and liver cheese, but this is Brunswagger. I know I'm not saying that right either. But anyways, I was telling him, because one of our little granddaughters was here this weekend, and she loves butter bread. Nanny, I want a piece of butter bread. So I made her a piece of butter bread, and uh, 
I got me cut me off just a little round of that Brunswagger and, and put it on a piece of bread for me. She said, "What is that?" I said, "This is Paul's Brunswagger." She said, "I said, do you want some?" She said, "Yeah." So I put it on there and I smashed it between her butter bread and she ate a bit of it. Now, she didn't complain about it. I said, "Did do you like that?" And she said, "Yeah." She knows what's good. She takes after her Paul. I just I don't know. I never would have thought she'd ate something like that, but she did. She's not a real big meat eater. No. She loves veggies. She likes <clears throat> going out in the garden and picking them little tomatoes off and eating them out in the garden. Yeah. She likes salads. You gotta watch her on the sour cream. She just eat sour cream by the spoon. Okay. She likes guacamole, avocado, <clears throat> cottage cheese. So I think I'm going to go ahead and throw this garlic in there. Yes. Now the recipe didn't call for garlic, but I'm going to put some in there. Uh, Who don't like garlic? You might even just use some uh, granulated garlic or garlic powder if you like that a really garlic taste and i might have mr brown taste this to make sure that it's got enough salt and pepper in it <clears throat> we're not going to tell them are we no <laughs> we're not going to tell them what i've done they've seen it what'd you do dump it out nope oh. if i ain't careful i'll dump it all out don't you taste that? Is that meat done enough for you? Yeah, I'll fix some put cabbage in there. Is it done enough for me to taste it? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it could be. I'm still chopping up bigger pieces. You know, and the moisture's getting gone. Yes, and me standing here looking at this, I forgot to put the tablespoon of butter in there. Um, that's okay. I want this dry, so... I'm going to go ahead and put the cabbage in there and just let it be cooking. You better blow on that because it looks hot. You know I'm tough. You don't want to scald that. Taste bud. It needs a little bit more salt and pepper put in there. I didn't put more salt. Oh. Is it plenty? Don't tell me it's too salty. No. It's okay. Just right. Just right. I can taste the garlic. And... Okay. I'm going to put a little more pepper. I'm going to go ahead and add this cabbage. It looks like to me, the way we're doing it, that it's going to stay dry and not be too wet. It's, that, it, a lot of the moisture run out of it. That way, Carb steamed out of it. the crescent roll, the bread part doesn't get soggy, and that's what they really stressed about it. Did you want to pepper that? I did. Okay. Now, I'm going to um, keep the rest of this for us to have coleslaw. But we still have some of that head left, don't we? That cabbage? Almost half. Oh, okay. Well, I still think that's enough. I think it'll be plenty. I'm gonna walk around here and make sure y'all are still with us. They're still there. Are they still there? Yeah. I would pass out if it had. You know, we've done that before. The camera just shut off. And we've just been talking, carrying on, and doing our video. And why is it even on? That's stuff that happens, so. That reminds me of your friend Adele before she passed. You had, you was, you was asking, she was asking her. Go through your... Now, this she's is Adele. In Adele that passed away a few years ago. She's in Australia. She, she was. She's she was. in Australia and sitting around Sydney, Australia. And Miss Lori asked her, said, uh, go through your supermarket with your phone and just film 
the price of stuff and just talk about it because there is a language barrier there what we call one thing they call you know it's something different and bless her heart she got enough courage because she know she went through there and done it and uh, her phone ended up not being on she said people were looking at her and she was talking to herself you know <laughs> talking to the phone and it, it ended up not being on record so yeah she said she done all that walked through the store and it wasn't on record now she did go she did go back and she had a few things she was showing me what what they call mints we call ground beef here oh the price of it high kangaroo kangaroo, kangaroo meat, meat was twenty dollars a pound um, at that time so she explained to me she was a very good cook, but they didn't eat a lot of meat because over there it's just so high. Beef was higher than that, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, I couldn't believe it. Beef was really Now, this was several years ago, so, um, but yeah. If it's that high here, we probably wouldn't eat eaten it either, huh? <laughs> no. It's high enough. No, it? we would not. We, <clears throat> we'd have to go back to eating wild game for sure, just like our forefathers did. Just like we used to do a lot. Yeah. I'm not too sure. This is a 9 by 13. But it gets bigger as it to the top. I did catch a few crappie Saturday. We went bass fishing and ended up finding a few crappie. Uh, <clears throat> I ended up bringing caught six I believe and I, I let one get off right at the bowl and then we had a big old bluegill and I brought them home and cleaned them and they're in the freezer so we're going to get to have some crappie one of these days and the weather gets right I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to go back and get after them so they're just starting to come up on the bank. Now I think we need, I want to uh, cook this cabbage till it starts browning. Don't you? Be fine. Yeah. Before we put it in our, in our layers. I'm going to go ahead. You're and, the cook. I'm just a helper. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on to 350. We'll fix it ever how you want it. Well, I'm trying to go by the recipe and how they explained it. And like I said, it's it's an it's a knockoff casserole from a sandwich. So evidently, the sandwich doesn't have a lot of juice. You know, it's not got nothing running out of it. I would say that would be best. And uh, but if the bottom of it gets a little soggy, I bet I eat it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spray my 9 by 13 pan. I buy this. Uh, now this right here come from Sam's. Comes two to a package. This is your olive oil nonstick cooking spray. But I'm pretty sure that Aldi carries it too. We like when we're cooking our cabbage, we like for it to get really browned up, like you're, you're frying cabbage. I think I've got a video showing y'all how I fry cabbage up, and so it's an older video. You know, a lot of y'all ask me about a lot of, you know, do I have this recipe or that recipe? If y'all go to my, uh, go to the search bar and just Type in Whipple Wheel Holler and whatever if you're looking for fried cabbage or fried pies. It's Whipple Wheel Holler fried pie. You know, it'll pop up. But you can also go to my my homepage, Whipple Wheel Holler, and there's a there's playlists there 
and I try to keep them updated, but I'm kind of behind right now, that will keep all, even my old first recipes and stuff on there. Somebody was asking me, look, I gotta walk this, I ain't good at it. Uh, my angel food cake recipe, that was one of my <coughs> first videos. And uh, it took me a while, but I just typed it in the search bar because I didn't want to go through my playlist and all that. So I typed Whipple Will Holler Angel Food Cake and it popped right up. And I thought, you know, I remember making that and it was so good. Homemade Angel Food Cake. I haven't made one in a while. They're so good. You made a peach cobbler We made peach cobbler yesterday. It was really good. <coughs> Now they have these crescent rolls in a, we can get it in a whole sheet, but uh, I bought the wrong one. No, you just want to put your preparations to get, you know, make sure there's no, you had to paint it. Paint it? Kind of spread it out in the pan. I do a dessert <clears throat> with uh, crescent rolls that my kids absolutely love and it's called Sopapilla. Um, cheesecake dessert I haven't made that in a while and it is delicious you, do you remember that we haven't had it in a while it's the crescent roll with the, like the cream do. cheese cheesecake in the middle and it the top oh it's so good if y'all would like to see that recipe just tell me down in the comments and I'm gonna put something under that it's wanting to bounce around and upset me There is a bunch of channels that uh, are having the marching in the casseroles. That always happens in March with a lot of different really good cooks. And um, I was supposed to be in that, and Miss Lori got Miss Lori got down sick, pretty pretty sick. But I mean, I'm better now. But uh, so I missed out on that. So I'm hoping that they'll take this and go ahead and put it in that slot that I missed and. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I will put down in the des my description box below all the channels that have got cash rolls up this month. And y'all can go through there because I've done looked at them. Y'all, there are some really, really uh, good recipes on there for cash rolls that I think that y'all would try, especially for this weekend at being a Easter weekend and people doing potlucks and stuff so if you'll go down to my description box just look at the playlist and it'll have all them different channels with their recipes on there too I apologize to all of them for me getting sick and and missing out on my slot but uh, maybe they'll just go ahead and stick this one in there with the rest of them I'm sure that they understand but they do this every year it's called marching in the cash rolls. I remember. It's already been a year since the last time. Yes. That seems like a few months ago. I know it. It does. It goes by fast. <clears throat> so I'm just pinching all the little. There we go. These are these are just an off brand, but a lot of times if I need something in a hurry. For the weekend dinner or Sunday dinner, I always sometimes will pick up a couple of these to throw on a pan because my grandkids love crescent rolls. And the off brands to me are just as good as the others. But either way, they're expensive. Give me a different spoon here and I'm going to taste this cabbage. <coughs> See if it needs salt or anything. Looks like it might be starting to brown up for you. It is. I'm going to go ahead and get the cheese out. And you can talk to them while I'm getting the cheese out. <clears throat> now you can put, uh, if you got some bell peppers, you need to you 
We love bell peppers and just about everything. Yeah, I haven't made one of them desserts in a while. I need to do that. Sopapilla cheesecake. Some of y'all probably have heard of it or made it yourself, but it's one of my favorite desserts. So we're getting ready to maybe do a little bit of camping here in a couple of weeks. Danny's got a tournament. Got a fishing tournament. On a local lake. And uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to get outside, um, soak up some vitamin D. Just gets, I'm ready to be outside, y'all, in some warmer weather. I think it's good for your body. I think it's, it is good for you to get out there and dig in that dirt. Not just for physically, but mentally it is. It's looking really good to me. It's starting, y'all, he's, he's cooking this cabbage so it's really starting to, to brown up. I keep flipping it because we got our heat on pretty high. As a matter of fact, you might turn it down a little bit. But we're trying to get rid of that moisture. And we are getting rid of the moisture. Meat's starting to brown quite a bit. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> we start putting this together. I'll bring them down here so they can see it. Um about two days, well, that week before spring break, there was a, several people at work, at school, that was, even the kids, grown-ups, that were coming down with a virus and uh, getting pretty sick. We had some kids that even uh, tested positive for COVID. Now, this has been going on for a long time, y'all. It's just like it just keeps going in circles. But anyways, some of my co-workers have been sick. So a couple days before, it was that Thursday and Friday, I just started feeling kind of bad, and I started coughing. So by the weekend, I was really feeling rough, and then by the by spring break week, I spent most of my time in bed, I think. Uh, it kept getting worse. Um, my coughing was horrible. I didn't sleep at all. And, uh, you slept in weeks. So <laughs> we ended up, he took me to the doctor. I went to sick call, and... Uh, they tested me for COVID and all that stuff, and it came up that I had the rhinovirus, and uh, the nurse practitioners told me that that's what has been turning into pneumonia, especially people our age. So she really laid some steroids to me and uh, some antibiotics, stuff like that. And she even... Uh, give me an inhaler because I told her, I said, when I lay down at night, like right now I'm fixing cough, <coughs> that my chest felt, you know, heavy like a but It is. It's getting better. I think we just all need to, to get out of there for the summer and uh, get out of all that sickness. Is it looking good? Yeah, it's probably about the best we're going to do right okay. now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. It looks good. I could just eat it like that. I can't hardly stay out of it. <laughs> <clears throat> Onions, cabbage, and meat. Man. Yeah. So it's no wonder this, that was a good sandwich. I could sit down with that right there and a big piece of buttered cornbread. That would be good. And just eat it up. <laughs> I might even put a little bit of dab of steak sauce. <clears throat> just a yeah. touch. Just a touch. Don't okay. want to 
You don't want to hide that flavor with steak sauce. No. I'm going to stick the bottom <clears throat> crust in there. I'm just going to cook it for just a little bit. When you do that, that kind of helps that bottom crust from not getting soggy. And really and truly, everything's cooked. So all that you're having to do is go ahead and just uh, get your crust done, good and brown. Warm it up together and be ready. Won't yeah. We got our cheese, so, I mean, it's simple ingredients. That's easy, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, there is, a, there is a casserole, a Reuben casserole, that's kind of this way, too, except it has, a, my recipe has corned beef in it, and a, just a corned beef, not hash, just corned beef, and it has a cabbage in it, or you can put sauerkraut in it, and use the crescent rolls with it. It's even got a layer of uh, like Thousand Island dressing, like you would put on a Reuben sandwich. Right. It's a shame somebody's not here. I wish, wish y'all were here to, to eat supper with us. I think this is just what our supper's gonna be. We're not gonna have anything, no sides or anything with it. It'll be plenty. Sometimes with a casserole, we might make a salad or something. Now, yesterday, for after church, uh, I had made Mexican chicken casserole, and I had some leftover mashed potatoes that I warmed up, and then um, I warmed up some uh, green beans. We didn't even have no hot rolls or anything, did we? No, but it was really good. Doctor them beans up there good. That's good, huh? And that's probably one of my least favorite beans nowadays. I know it is. It's green beans, but she docked. Okay, Art. I cooked the bottom crust just a little bit. Uh, not very long. And we're just going to spread this out over the top. Use all of it. Be a good, good portion. It was hard for me to keep Mr. Brown out of this filling too. <laughs> I'm fixing to save me some. Are you? I don't know. You're fixing to eat it. I don't think you. you want all of it? Yeah. So it does make a pretty thick layer, which will be good for anybody that loves to make cabbage and onions. See that fly? There he is, he's back. Okay, now we're just gonna do the cheese. Probably won't need all this cheese. I'm a cheese lover, you're not as much as I mean. Well, it just depends. <clears throat> now we've been working with, with this crescent roll and uh, dough and it's just kind of aggravating me but we're going to do the best we can it's just like it don't want to cooperate and it's making me mad so we're going to put it over the top and kind of pinch it together put it on or I'll pinch it if I have to, I've got another can. Because this right here is not, yeah, if you'll pinch that. It ain't gotta be perfect. Flies are bothering me. Well, he ain't getting none of it. He's after my ear. <laughs> Get away. <clears throat> I've never had crescent roll dog to aggravate me as much as this one is today. So if you're just kind of spread that out and pinch it for me.
just really not wanting to pinch. This right here is not supposed to look. <laughs> Got warm or something, didn't it? Yeah. But it's only supposed to take two cans. But yes, I think the dough got a little bit warm. We're just going to patch it up. And we're going to eat it. It gets cooked. I guarantee you I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so all you got to do is just kind of pinch them together. <clears throat> like that. They're not wanting to stick today. It's one of them days, huh? The bottom crust done just fine. Okay. We're going to stick this back in the oven. And I'm going to put these in there here in a minute. I'll roll them up just to eat. You got my oven open. Okay, we're gonna stick this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes or till it's good and golden brown on top. And then we'll taste it. So it's out of the oven, took about 30 minutes. Um, that one <laughs> that one can of uh, crescent rolls just um, didn't want to cook up right, but the, you can tell the other, the other side did. Anyways, it did get done. And you can see the layers there. So while it's still hot, we're going to get Mr. Brown some out. Because he is walking the floors. He's hungry. I'm walking the floors and... It don't have to be super pretty. It looks pretty good to me, though. Are you walking the floors over me? I'm walking the floors over you. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this cut. I'm going to give you a pretty big piece. I'm going to eat it, too. Hold this plate. Is it not wanting to cooperate? Oh, look at there. So what's it look like? Yeah, look at there. Ooh, look at all that. Cabbage and hamburger mate. The bottom is still crusty, brown. Yeah, it is. Turned out really good, didn't it? And uh, the cheese is good and melty. Yummy. Looks good. Okay, our Runza casserole. Run, Runza. 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 <laughs> now, you can actually just pick it up and eat it. Boy, it's really good. It is good. The color, I mean, kind of reminds you. The crust is perfect. Uh, meat the pie. The bottom is uh, crunchy. It's not soggy. Mm -mm. <clears throat> That's the trick, though. You're going to have to get your feeling pretty dry, I think. Because if you don't, you're going to have soggy bread. Well, you need to cook that bottom crust for a little bit, too, before you put your filling on there. That helps, too. I was a little discouraged with my top crust, but I think I had left the the dough out and it got too warm <laughs> so I kind of messed up on that but it is warm here in the house y'all and it's raining outside so uh, but it anyways out, it turned out good though I ended up I did find another can in the refrigerator crescent rolls 
And like I said, I, I went ahead and used half of it, but now we got dessert because I made us some little crescent rolls with uh, orange marmalade in the middle, and they're fixing to come out of the oven too. So it was a win-win situation. So this is a really good casserole. And you know, you, you could even eat this cold. And um, the next day it'll be good warmed up just to cut you a slice and grab and go if you had to. It's really good. Mm -hmm. That fly is wanting it too. I think we've got more than one. I, I put some Worcestershire sauce out here on the table for Mr. Brown. I thought he might want to dip it in there. And I did try it. It's good. So that's something you kind of dip it in. So if y'all have ever ate the Runza <laughs> sandwich, and y'all know what I'm talking about, let me know down in the comments because the casserole is really good. So I can imagine that the sandwich would be good too. Was it made on maybe uh, toasted bread? Or how did y'all eat it? But this is a good one. And I think next time I make it, I'll probably just make half the recipe. Because we can't eat all that. But that would feed several people. But I can eat it tomorrow for lunch. Yeah, I can eat it for my lunch tomorrow too. I'll take it to work with me. Make Jesse look at my lunch. He'll say, what are you eating, Miss Lori? But it is good. All the layers. You done a good job. <laughs> what did I do? Help. So easy. It's so easy and I helped. And you helped. I helped. Well, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I know this is <laughs> this is one channel. If you're wanting to come and find you a, a quick recipe, a wham bam, thank you ma'am recipe, this ain't it. Because we like for y'all to come in and sit with us. And just like you're here in the kitchen with us and talk and cook with us. So we enjoyed y'all being here and I'm glad we're back and maybe we're on the men's now. If I can just keep him healthy, I can't let him get sick, y'all. <laughs> so. So, let me tell you a fun fact. Oh, Mr. Brown's got a fun fact, y'all. <clears throat> Did you know that a caribou, also known as a reindeer, eyes are golden brown in the summer months, but during the winter months, they turn to a blue. Did you know that? I did not know that. And now you know. <laughs> and the reason being, nature, the good Lord, is that so many dark months during the winter in Alaska, that the blue helps them gather light. Oh, well. So they can see better. Understandable. So... Did y'all know that? <laughs> Learn something new every time you come to us. <laughs> well, we'll see y'all. Hopefully in a couple of days. It depends on what kind of week we're having. Huh? But we always try to come to y'all at least twice a week. Sometimes it don't work out, but we try very hard. And it's going to get easier. So y'all stay well. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And uh, make you a Runza casserole now I told y'all I was going to put all the other uh, recipes the other channels down in my description box there's a bunch of them too for y'all to go check out their casseroles that way maybe y'all can find one or two or probably all of them that you're going to enjoy and maybe try so y'all look down there go to those channels tell them I sent you give them a thumbs up and uh, let's help support each other so We'll see y'all. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. That is really good, but it does remind me of a meat pie. Remember the meat pies Grandma used to, they were called, she called them Paul Bunyan burgers. <clears throat> you can call it a meat pie. Mm-hmm. It's good. <laughs>